G'day guys, Ben from Ozziac here to bring you another video. This one is going to be looking at my estuary rig. So I tend to find that I can paddle out usually with two rods. So it depends on where I'm going and I, I like to plan my uh, fishing trips as best I can. And um, therefore I'm going to take tackle according to the types of species which I'm going to target on the day. So if I'm going to go inshore or into an estuary, I'll take uh, a light and a medium rig. If I'm going to go offshore or um, off the beach or something, then I'll take a heavier rig and my medium rig. So let's have a look. I use seven foot rods. I tend to find that a seven foot rod, I can very easily control fish right the way around a kayak. I'm not going to risk overbalancing. So good quality seven foot rod is a, is a great place to start. Um, so in this case, I use Seal Star rods. I tend to find these rods are very economical and they're incredibly well built. Very, very high quality. Fuji guides, all the rest of it. Um, I've never had a problem with these rods. They're really, really good. In this case, this is my estuary or my light rig. So it's a two to five kilo rod. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I use a Shimano Kanza 2500 reel. I've matched that with Braid, which is, uh, I think, three kilo braid, so six pound line. Uh, and I have a fluorocarbon leader, which is a little bit heavier than that. I think it's around about eight pound, or four kilo. I have a snap swivel at the end, and what that allows me to do is change my rigs according to how I'm gonna fish. So if I'm gonna use a casting lure, such as a slug or a, a spoon, maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of trolling. I find this, this sort of rig is very, very general purpose. It's not specific, it's not like the best rig for a specific type of fishing, but it's a very good general purpose rig. It allows me to target bait species, I can troll lures, I can cast, I can use baits, I can do a lot of things with it, and for my money, for my economy, this is a really, really good way to go. Um, what I tend to do though is I'll, every three or four months I'll, um, I'll just do a little bit of maintenance on these lines. So what I tend to do is with that, I'll look for any um, damage to the rods themselves. I'll look for any um, damage to the guides. Usually I'll take off the top three or four metres of line. It's only going to cost me realistically 20 or 30 cents. Put on a new leader, put on a new swivel, and away I'm good to go. Uh, a little bit of maintenance on the, um, on the, the reels with a bit of Inox. That's really all you need to do. Just make sure that you keep your stuff as well maintained as you can, because obviously in a kayak you're sitting so much lower to the water and your, your gear is going to get exposed to salt and sand a lot more than it would do in a boat or if you were uh, shore-based uh, fishing. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to be building my YouTube channel with an average of two videos per week, eventually covering all sorts of topics on kayak fishing from reviews of gear, reviews of kayaks, location reports, even hook and cook type uh, ideas for you. I'm looking forward to any comments or suggestions you might have. Please leave a comment below or you can message me directly through YouTube. If you liked the video, please like it. Please feel free to share this video on other social media such as Facebook or uh, Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines and stay safe.